my boys welcome back to day number three of the bulk today we got we're gonna start off with something that i promised you guys on the last joint and that was to make the bulk shake right so i have this little infamous shake i make whenever i'm in the off season and may it be good for you may it be not good for you don't quote me on that but we have huge whey um i got cinnamon bun anything cinnamon flavored i'm on that and then we have chocolate brownie. So we're going to be using these two as the protein source. As our chosen carb source for the shake, we have quick oats. Um, we're just going to dump a shit ton in there. But this shake should be around 1,000 to 1,500 calories. And that's just me being conservative. If I wanted to, I can push this shake to like 2,000 calories. No problem at all. So the next ingredient is almond butter. Let me put it there. Boom. Um, then we got some honey because you can never go wrong with some honey and whenever i was cutting i was making like shakes but i'd put a lot of ice in them to kind of make them taste like ice cream that way it'd take longer for me to eat it and finish it um so that's that and then my mom well my mom is a very health conscious person which i am thankful for because i hate vegetables but we have superfood green powder here and then a literal cell wall to this day i have no idea what the hell this shit does it's called organic chlorella broken cell wall like a mitochondria powerhouse of the cell type shit um so we're gonna mix all these ingredients together and make a pretty fucking bulky shake and honestly if you're doing this and you're a hard gainer and you're having your regular meal and you're still having fucking a hard time putting on weight make a big ass shake and to me personally, these big shakes don't really fill me. Um, it'll fill me for like 20, 30 minutes and then I'm hungry again. But that may just be my inner fatness, just always being hungry. And if you're really feeling devious, I would even throw a muffin in there. You know what I'm saying? Add some Nutella, um, add something crazy. But to me, the main ingredients on this shake that make it taste good for me is the powder, a good amount of oats, because it gives it like a thick texture. I like the, I love it thick. Then we got almond butter. So I think these three ingredients are like the main ones for me to make it taste good. Um, so let's make this shake. I'm estimating around, I'm going to do three scoops of protein. So that's around 75 grams of protein. Um, then we're going to do probably a full cup of oats, which is 300 calories. Um, and then we're going to do two scoops of peanut butter. And then these things right here. And we're going to add a secret ingredient. All right, let's get to work. I'm not really sure what's a good blender. I have the um, the Nutri Bullet, but I've heard like the Ninja Creamy pause on that shit is good. So I'm gonna try that maybe. But we'll throw in a decent amount of ice. That's the first thing I go with. Um, I'll usually, when I'm having whey, I won't use like um, milk, like whole milk. But for this shake, you want a little, you want more calories added, add some whole milk. And another thing about this shake, which kind of sucks for me personally until I get, um, a different protein is whey makes me break out a lot um, and then freaking dairy also like I, I might be lactose intolerant because I always be having to shit after I'm eating something with dairy um, so this shake won't be the best for me but I'm making y'all I'm doing this for y'all right so we pour in you have to, oh what the hell is in the cup what the, I hope I hope those are chia seeds because hold up let me see if y'all can see this. See this thing. All right, we let's get keep pouring. <sighs> okay, we you gotta find the right ratios when you're pouring shit. Um, my favorite out of these two flavors here is the cinnamon one. So I'll do two scoops of um, cinnamon bun. Anything fucking cinnamon bun related is so fucking good to me. Um, and I don't really have a sweet tooth. Like I'm more. Like, if I'm going to have a cheat meal, it'll probably be, like, a burger or some shit, and I don't really crave sweets. But when it comes to protein powders and shit, uh, cinnamon's just always a good-ass flavor. And then we have brownie here. Um, like, I'm such a yapper. I'm sorry. But if you guys are, like, taking me out for ice cream, go on a little date, um, I just won't eat chocolate ice cream. I hate chocolate ice cream for some reason. It just doesn't have, it doesn't taste good to me. So we have one scoop of that. Two scoops of the cinnamon joint. 
And we're gonna guesstimate, but I do have a scale right there when I, when I wanna be super accurate with my meals. But like I said, this is a little thing just to show y'all. So let's estimate a cup here. And this is what's gonna make your shake take like taste like really thick and good. That's about a cup. I'd say that's about a cup right there. So look at the layers forming right there. Then I love peanut butter, but ugh. you see the shit? All right. The thing with the organic like peanut butters and shit, they always get weird as fuck. Like the texture of it, like that shit look a little suspicious, but we're going to pour it in anyway. So it's creamy almond butter. Let's pour this scooper. Yeah, like this shit is unscoopable. And for some reason, it hardened on the bottom. Let's just hope this shit's not expired. Um, two scoops of that. Bam. Okay. And then, I've never been a honey dude, but when I started putting them in my shakes, it's been real fucking good. So I'll add some honey in there. And, okay. The green stuff, we're gonna, might have to separate, because last time I put it in a shake, it tasted a little funny. Um, so this is it so far. Um, I really want to stick a muffin in here. I don't know why. This, this is my intrusive. These are my intrusive thoughts just right now. Just, oh God. All right. All right, guys, we stuck a muffin in this bitch. All right, look at this layered ass shake. If you're not putting on weight eating this shit, something's, wrong. something's going on with you. You gotta see the doctor. I Don't do this shit. The muffin, the muffin part, that was very unnecessary. My intrusive thoughts got to me, but we're gonna try this shit out and I'm gonna be the first one to let y'all know how this shit tastes. Let's blend this bitch up. I'm gonna try to film this shit as much as I can with one hand. But I mean, look, take, take a look at this. <laughs> this shit looks fucking... All right. Guys, I am probably the worst fucking role model. That's why I stick to mindset. My goal is to teach you guys a good mindset because when it comes to this shit, sometimes I just... I'm crazy and weird. Okay, that shit kind of look close. I hope... Let me just... It's hard to screw with one hand. Hold on. Okay. So, let's get this joint locked in. <laughs> Okay, we sh probably should have stuck the muffin at the bottom because there's no liquid to mix. Hold on, let me shake it around a little bit. Get some liquid there. Okay, now there's liquid in the formation of the bottom. So this is a science class for y'all. Boom! Yes! Okay, now things are starting to blend. Oh, shit. All right, I'm going to just skip to when this shit is fully blended. <laughs> Bam! All right, so surprisingly, this shit blended up. So, let's give this thing a try. This thing, mm, this one's good as hell. Hold up. This, I might have done something here. But y'all see how thick this thing is? This gotta be at least 2,000 calories right here. So, for the people saying like, yo, how the hell do you eat 4,000 calories a day, 5,000, 6,000? There's no way. <sighs> way. I gotta say, that muffin, that muffin's hitting the spot. You could feel like it's, it, it tastes like you're buying a muffin every damn slurp. As stupid as putting that muffin in there sounds, we, we're about to digest like 1,500 to 2,000 calories. So if y'all need help gaining weight and just need calories on top of that protein, get creative with your shakes. Make something bomb. Just make sure you put in that protein in there first, but after that, you know, get crazy with it. But today is our chest day, and I have a really cool workout scheduled. Like I said, this is marker week still, so we're figuring out our 
kind of working sets to push forward for in the off season. Um, but I also want to go look for skis today and see what I could find. I wanted to get like a cool custom pair. Um, so I want to take you guys with me. Um, so let's go get some skis. All right, y'all. So I went to the ski store and they talking about, oh, uh, you can't film in here. But anyways, I didn't realize skis were that expensive, like custom joints. First of all, they're talking about seventeen to eighteen hundred dollars for the custom joints. They were over here. I was over here with it, right? Then they said, um, "But we have our own made ones here if you want for like fourteen to twelve, twelve hundred to fourteen hundred dollars." And I saw a really dope joint that I might get. I just, you know, like I never buy myself anything. My birthday's coming up soon. So I'm like, let me for once buy something that I like for myself, right? Uh, just because, I don't know, I just don't be buying shit. Um, I told y'all, but food though. Like food, uh, I'll spend that cash. But um, we might get it. But today also, if y'all didn't know, um, I have a Chinese stepdad, a Chinese sister. So we are celebrating Chinese New Year. Um, so we're going out to a dinner. For Chinese New Year, and you ever you ever feel so unhealthy you just want to grab a damn apple? Hold up. Like, like I told y'all this before when I when I started like you know doing my dieting and stuff, and then I'd come off a diet and I start eating some greasy ass unhealthy food. Um, I would just feel so fucking bad after that I'd have to eat something healthy to like say like counteract it, and then be like, damn, I ain't even eat nothing bad. You know what I'm saying? So let's take a quick bite of this joint. Mm. Well, but so this year I'm going to be competing, competing in open, open bodybuilding in the natural league, and I think it's going to be so fun. Um, I told you guys I've done it before in my placings, so I'm just excited to get that feeling again, where the prep is very, very tough. I'm very locked in and just the kind of moment that it leads up to. And I tell, I try to convince people to compete all the time just because I feel like it puts you in a mental spot where you never really felt before. Um, even if you've gone through some shit, it's just a different kind of mental space that I feel like everyone should experience and try. Um, I'm sure there's, there's definitely way harder shit out there, but it's definitely a cool one. So um, we're going to head out to this Chinese New Year dinner. Uh, I'm going to try to limit myself because... Um, like I said, I want to keep this bulk as healthy as possible. Um, and we've already used up our cheat meal for the week. So let's keep this joint clean. And then we'll have a freaking, I think we're going to have a filthy chest pump today. And I'm excited to show you guys my new chest split. All right, guys, we've made it to chest day. Um, we just finished Chinese New Year dinner. Uh, I shit it already twice. Pat post Chinese. If y'all didn't know, I'm a little Chinese. Then... They gave me a red envelope, which got the Powerball on it. So if I win, I'm going to see y'all. Never. I'm going to the furthest place possible and hiding out. <laughs> now, but for real, we got some good chest today. And we're going to do a real different workout than we've done in the um, prep season. So we're going to be doing flat dumbbells. And I haven't done this shit in months. So we're like I said, this whole week is we're just building up our strength markers again. We're going to see where we're at. Um, but you all know my top sets for flat dumbbell is actually different than normal. It's two sets of eight. So we're going to find a weight we could do for around eight to failure. And then from there, progress week by week. This workout is going to be more of like a montage workout. You know, I'm going to try it out with some music. And just put it in the background and just see how intense this workout can get. Well, mm. Uh, we're going to be warming up with 65s. I feel like 65 is a pretty moderate weight to warm up with. Um, stretching, we didn't stretch today, but we're just going to YOLO this shit. So let's try to pick up our form where we kind of last left off. Um, I know it's going to take some getting used to because it's been a while. So It's just a problem fitting my entire back on this fucking bench without falling over.
Okay, so that way was super fucking easy, but my right lat was hanging off the bench, so felt a little uncomfortable. So we're gonna try to fix that position on the bench. And like I said, I wanna work up to some heavy shit for eight. Um, flat is a lot, obviously, is a lot stronger for me than incline. So I'm hoping to do maybe the hundreds today to start the first week of strength gaining. Randomly, but we're gonna zip with this bitch up a little bit. But what I was thinking about when you just mentioned that is, um, you know, for a lot of people, I don't think true love exists, my friend. Um, especially for the dude behind the camera. He gets no bitches. <sighs> but <laughs> All right, let me just put the hundred on me, Athen. Hold on. Okay. All right, this is a whole lot fucking heavier. What we just do, 65s, now we got hundos. That's about, that's about what? 45 pounds more? Bro, okay. Boom. Oh yeah, working set, fuck. What the fuck, bro? Dude, I picked up fucking Fred Flintstone's fucking bone or something. What the fuck is this? Damn dumbbell. Dude, the space you have to move these joints around, impossible. I was fucking holding two fucking turkey sticks. So we're gonna retry that shit with the iron weight and see if it plays a little different. But I think I did like five reps, six reps. So we might hit 95s for the first starting week. So let's run that shit up again. We might have to use the Fred Flintstone weight because down here they don't have 95s in the iron weight shit. So we're just gonna have to deal with this big blob right in front of my face every set. But now we got some music for this set. So let's see how, let's do a scientific study on what music does to your brain. That's what I'm talking about. What was that, nine? So our goal weight was eight reps. But we got nine there, so I count that as a good set. We're gonna run that back one more time and then get into our second workout now. All right, guys, let me show you what not training to failure <laughs> looks like. See, that was his set right there. He just quit and he had a... He had about 40 reps in the tank. We all have that one friend though. Let's get on to the next joint. The incline hammer strength, which is my favorite incline machine. Um, nothing will beat this joint. So we went from flat dumbbells to this now. Uh, my focus during chest days usually is more incline. So we're gonna do this incline and then one more, and then we'll jump into the accessory work for you know the other body parts. But let's warm up real quick. <sighs> All right, let's get into some fucking weight. All right, guys, so this dude used to deadlift 600 pounds, squat about five and a half, bench about three and a half, 
and now he's working sets his two plates on an incline smith you know and he's wearing a powerhouse shirt funny story about powerhouse you know i've been kicked out by a gym before this was in the times where people were coughing and sneezing all over shit. Y'all know the word. I just can't say it on YouTube. Pretty much I was doing, you know, heavy ass squats and um, I had my mask off and I would record it and they'd get pissed and they kick my ass out, which was kind of a blessing because now we're here at this beautiful gym, but just a little funny, not really funny story. Let's get into this top set. <clears throat> It's one of my favorites. I've worn this thing like seven days in a row. No shower, no laundry, just, Dude. just, <laughs> it's called this. You said you guys want me to be natural, right? So natural people don't shower or put deodorant on. Save the environment. All right, let's do a sip. <clears throat> Guys, I would never really show you the full gym in its entirety. So here, come step with me into this dark corner. Come on. Turn around, bro. <laughs> nah, show them this though. The whole entire gym. Bam. In that corner, you could do a lot of things. That corner too. This thing is heaven. And we have like a treadmill machine down at the end. And then a little separate room, which has a squat rack, which is cool. But I guess this is my home gym now in terms of this is the only gym I go to. Bro's doing a 360 panel. <laughs> but um, I'm going to start going to Bev's again. And um, um, so I'm, I'm going to start, <laughs> I'm gonna start going to the other gyms. They got squat racks and, you know, whatnot, deadlift bars. And um, yeah, so let's get into our next workout, which is tricep pushdowns. Let's do it. All right, guys, so this is my first video with the cameraman and my last. So let's get into push downs, right? You guys have seen me perform this one already a lot. Um, I just like the way this hoodie looks when I bend over like this. So let's get, let's get into this top set. We're one pin away from doing the full stack. So sooner or later, we're gonna need to get a gym pin for this bitch, but let's jump into it. <clears throat> I don't know how to call that a successful set. I feel like I honestly could have did the full stack. So I think it's cool to save it there until next week. Next week we push that full stack and I'll order the gym pin so we can start putting some devious weight on these machines. But I posted on my story today that I'm preparing for an open bodybuilding show. I think I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be competing in our, around September, November, October area. Uh, we're gonna bulk for five to six solid months, keep it clean, 
and do a two to three month cut, which should be quick because we're keeping the bowl clean. So we gotta put in some work, but we're taking that overall, baby. I want my sword. <laughs> Please pay for your box ASAP. All right, we're gonna finish off with our last tricep set. And then we're gonna finish with some little side delt action. Um, we're gonna try to post three YouTube videos a week. Um, Cause I don't wanna post one every day. Cause I feel like when you see someone every single day, you get tired of them. Kind of like when you have a girlfriend or a friend, you know, that you see every single day. I think three times a week is enough to get you aroused when you see me. So. Let's just finish this shit, guys. I'm losing my mind now. <laughs> okay, ready? <clears throat> that was my friend's set right there. <clears throat> okay. Let's get into our last set of the day. All right guys, welcome to the final workout of the day. We have side laterals, which is a fucking staple in my shit. Um, I love this one because it just feels fucking amazing. Let's get right into it. I feel like if I were to moan like that in a public gym, it just wouldn't feel the same. That's why I'm so happy to go down here and nobody to listen to me, you know, make my noises and shit. But we're gonna do one more of these and then we're gonna do a little bit of, I wanna throw in a bicep workout today just to show you guys how we're looking. So let's get into that one. All right, guys, titties, <laughs> that's all. Nothing crazy here, just boobs. Um, whenever we pull the arm blaster thing, it just, like, look, what the hell? <sighs> yeah, all right, that's it. <clears throat> 